I just assumed, as a citizen, that there was a place for people to go. I don't know what's gonna happen to me. And I just assumed it was legal for people to camp. This is the first time I've ever had to do this. <laughs> this is horrible. Everything that goes up has gotta have a roof on it. But what happens if they stop going up? We need to reinvent this economy, but until we do, we need a place for people to go. I never believed that I would be homeless. I just want to get inside. I don't like it out here. Oh, we served our country. So where am I supposed to go? We want it back. We don't want to believe that we're a culture that has that level of brokenness as part of us. We shouldn't have a place where we can put up a tent. Everybody that walks by me has nowhere to go. Come here. People are getting scared. Where are they going to go? I'm trying to deal with these issues would be significant. After that segment on Oprah aired, man, it set off a firestorm in this community, didn't it? What we want is safe ground. What do we want? Safe ground! When do we want it? Safe ground! Safe ground! Safe ground! Safe ground! Clearly the people in Sacramento and in Washington have no clue as to how to manage money at all. The solution that would work would be safe ground. What do we want? Safe ground! When do we want it? We got 70 people on the move now. <laughs> and this is going to grow. Come Friday, we're going to have to figure out what to do with it. According to Senate Bill 2, which is state law, the city is required to provide an emergency shelter space. They have not done that. Right now, you're not allowed to be here. It's trespassing on city property. All of the campers have signed a pledge of alcohol, and drugs, and violence. Come on, I talk to you for a second? I think we as a city got to take a very hard look at what we can do for this particular population. We've got to change the image of the homeless here. we got some real trouble coming at us here. We're taking on city council. We expect resistance. We expect police to come in and run us out of here. You haven't broken the law if the law is unconstitutional. There's no way that anybody in this capital city should be living in third world conditions. And you this does not cost right? the city one dime. Why can't you let us have our place to live? The neighbor called because of all the tips showing up. We have one, two, three, four, five policemen and three police cars out here. We're not sure how it's going to end.